Hello there guys, and welcome back to another episode of Trunks Plays Resonant Rise. This is episode 2. Um, I've done a little bit of work on the base since the last episode. Uh, not too much, but the, the main part is this um, information panel centre. This is my liquid storage room uh, display. So I've um, fixed up the coke oven so it now automatically exports all the Crusoe oil. So we've got that being displayed over here. Um, the coal is still going in there manually, so we will look at automating that probably in a future episode, or I might do it between episodes, I'm not sure yet. Um, also we have honey and fruit juice um, being displayed here, liquid DNA, mob essence, seed oil, and liquid XP. So that is pretty much all of my liquids. Um, I think there's maybe a couple that aren't on there, but I have them in such small amounts that it's probably not important. Um, and it was just to save me having to go in here every time. Over here we have um, an energy storage array. Um, six, uh, six sources. Uh, one to five are my MFSUs. Uh, one, two and three are the ones in the Greg Tech room. And four and five are the ones in the centrifuge room. 6 is the IDSU. There's also a smaller version of this panel upstairs in the bee breeding facility just to stop me having to open it all the time. Which is really lazy, but sue me. So what I thought we would do today, um, now that I've kind of covered all of the updates, um, yes, this is the wall of, of storage. Um, the only real change here is I've got more crap. Yeah, what I thought I would do today is I've kind of been playing around with uh, universal electricity a little bit. Um, a lot of people on the server have been talking about the famous or tripling method from Mechanism, and it seemed a lot easier than the one from Factorization, so I thought I would have a bash at it. And I wanted to share my progress with you guys, so you can either duplicate or ignore what I've done as you please. So this is it here. It's all hooked up to the AE network. Um, purification chamber with auto export of flint. Um, it's set to either move single or craft as necessary. And in the top, this one's set up for osmium. And it is notoriously side sensitive, which is why it's kind of staggered like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. Um, I need five copies of this. One for gold, tin, silver, iron and copper, which is probably going to take up most of this wall and maybe part of that one. So, I think I've got everything that I need um, in my inventory. I, I came prepared. I think. And of course I forgot cables. And wooden pipes. I knew I'd forget something. I, I, I wanted to, you know, get everything sorted beforehand so that, you know, we could just rush well not rush, but um speed through getting this set up and uh, make a, a nice short episode of this. But obviously I forgot the pipes and the gates. That's not good. So 10 wooden pipes and 10 autarkic gates. Okay, I've got everything now. Let's go back. I'd love to say I planned this in advance, but as you can see, not quite the case. Guess what I forgot? I forgot cables. I remembered I forgot cables, then forgot I remembered I forgot cables. Okay. Now we have everything. So we're going we're gonna to pretty much set it up like this, all the way along the wall. Um, link it all into AE and we will go from there. So flint going in the bottom 
or it's going in the top. Um, you know, I, I kind of experimented a little bit uh, with this and the, the exact configuration. I've got no idea what goes in here. And this is um, upgrade section. Uh, I think. Actually, no. I, I was going to say I calculated that was exactly what I needed, but really what I did was I threw nine um, speed upgrades into there and then worked out how many speed upgrades I needed to put in the purification chamber to keep up with it. So both of these have nine upgrades and this one has four. Um, that is the exact number that it needs to process one ore into three dirty clump things. Um, in the time that it takes the crusher to process three dirty lump clump things. Um, which then goes into the enrichment chamber and AE will export it, sorry, import it um, into my system. Um, I don't have auto smelting set up, but that's a, a step we can take in the future. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, I've got everything that I need in my inventory, and what we're going to do is set up the purification chambers up here. Um, I'm going to save space and put them above the existing AE connection here. And then we're going to go down, put the crusher in here, like that. And another one down, we'll put the enrichment chamber. So crusher, enrichment chamber. And I know you're trying to be helpful in inventory tweaks, but I, don't, I really don't want two purification chambers. Thanks. So, wooden pipes in here, um, one, two, and wrench them so that they're facing the right way around, um, I'll target gates on those two, and we're going to set these two items in inventory energy pulser, so that'll pump everything out and into the next stage of processing. Again, and there we go. So that is one pretty much set up. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get this all set up and then we'll do the um, AE integration afterwards. No, I don't want you to go there, purification chamber. Okay. Yes, there. Cable, cable, cable. And crusher. Enrichment chamber. Done. Cable, up we go. Purification chamber. Let's put down some more cables. More cables. Yeah, okay. So, enrichment chamber. One, two, three. So I need one over here. Yep, three up. Purification chamber. One, two, oh, crap. I really hope that wasn't going to do that, because these take forever to break. Even with a mining speed of 30 something on this pick, they still take ages. Look, I break the wall behind it faster than I break the cable. And up we go, purification chamber, crusher, crusher, cable, Need one more, there we go, crusher. And I'll back along, put the enrichment chambers in, nope, that's in the wrong place. Yep, yep, and last one, cool. So I was kind of experimenting with these before. I did have them in a kind of triangular pattern, but it, it didn't really work out due to the, the whole sided um, aspect of them. So chuck the wooden pipes on, wrench them around the right way. Uh, gates in here. Another gate. I'm sure you've all done this millions of times, but this... Uh, this is hopefully the only time you'll see me do this. So, pipe, pipe. It's probably quicker if I just do them all at once. More pipes. And wrenchy wrench, wrenchy wrench, wrenchy wrenchy wrench. Gates. More gates. We're almost there. And then once we've got all these gates set up, um, I will jump back, pick up the ME cable, etc, etc, and we will set it up to pull into and from the network. So a couple more gates to go. Here we go. The famed items in inventory setting. 
And last two gates. I may have set that last one wrong, but I'll, I'll check that later. It's not important. Okay, so it's uh, it's AE time. So let's go and grab some AE cables. Um, I'll need some import buses and some export buses. So ME cable, a couple of stacks of that should be more than enough. Uh, import buses, I'll need. Yeah, there we go. Import buses and some export buses. Yeah, I just did actually want that second stack. Okay. So this should be the easy bit. Um, in the interest of being ultra efficient, I have run an ME cable along here. So we'll just punch a li few little holes in the ground here. Nope, that wrong, wrong place. And last two, here we go. And put, no, didn't mean to do that. Also didn't mean to do that. Okay, cable in there. Cable, 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 cable. And then import bus. And it's not blue. Uh, okay, well, let's make it blue. I know I don't have to make it blue, but I, I prefer it when it's blue because it fits in better and I'm you know like that so import bus export bus cable bus and export bus get rid of that again cable bus and get rid of that and then another cable, another bus. At least we only have to set this up once. And more cable, another bus. And that is all of the import buses. I don't know why I just said I needed 10 of them, because I clearly don't. And for the bit at the top, what we're going to do is just run a cable all the way along here. And then, yep, up here. Along here. It's amazing how cables can stand the weight of Steve. That's awesome. And... There we go. Oh, didn't mean that. Get rid of that cable. And in the interest of bluefying my cables, I'm just going to put these extra little cables on top. And one here, if I can get up. Yep, there we go. Cable, more cable. There's a lot of cable in this episode, guys. And there we are, about to start. Okay, so we're just going to go along here, uh, get rid of that cable, and get rid of that cable, and that one, uh, definitely get rid of that one, that one, and that one. Cool. So now we're just going to go along and put the export buses in, and these will export the ores into the machines to be processed. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any spare ores right now. So what we'll do is we'll go and disable the TE room so that it's not automatically processing those ores and grab some ores and chuck them in here. And I forgot a bus. There we go. Cool. So everything's set up now. And we'll steal one flint from here. Okay, we'll steal more than one flint from here. And set it to move items and flint. Move items or craft flint. Um, guess what? More flint. And last one. Flinty McFlint. Cool. So we'll just chuck the that in there. 
and now we will go downstairs and we will disable the uh, TE exports um, down here so that will keep us some ores um, my mining lasers will probably fill up the system uh, fairly quickly and in here we go um, so what's this? gold, yep definitely want to get rid of that um, actually do you know what let's just dismantle that uh, copper yep dismantle that no no that's a cleaver it's not going to work dismantle that so that's silver yep uh, tin yep get rid of that this one's yep iron and ferrous will leave because the uh, mechanism system doesn't deal with it why are these all pre-configured? why are you no stack? how do I unpre-configure you? do you know what? I don't, don't really care let's just chuck them in and let's get rid of all this junk and uh, yeah that in there too and sort it done do we have any ores? Um, aluminum, copper ore, yep need that uh, iron, yep still one of those Silver, ore, ore, uranium, tungstate, tin, take that. So all we need now is gold. Uh, if you were gold, where would you be? G, 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 there we go. So in here somewhere. Ah, there's a gold ore there. Where is it? Where is it? There. Okay, so we've got all the ores we need. Now we'll go back upstairs and configure the export buses to export all of those. Okay, so copper, stack, done. Uh, stack, iron, put iron in here. We'll just do it in this order. So silver, uh, tin, and last but not least, we will have gold going in here. And there you have it guys. One automated Yeah, okay, that's copper. Okay, copper in there. Cool. Uh we'll just chuck these back in. It's easier than going back downstairs. Or next door. Cool. There we have it guys. One automated or tripling system in under half an hour complete with uh, missing textures it wouldn't be um, wouldn't be minecraft without missing textures would it what are these guys saying speaker api message welcome oh okay um, is there not like a chat box thing in the uh, miss peripherals if i can spell peripheral Yeah, chat messages. I'm sure it's called the chat box. Uh, it goes well. So we yep, finished the uh, ore tripling of great justice. And let's see. So now that we've finished the um, the actual. UE side of things. Um, what should we do? Um, let's go back up here. Um, we'll have a, a quick look at the um, bees. Um, since the last episode, I have bred up radioactive bees. Um, what else have I got? Arcane bees and supernatural bees. And I've got uh, an arcane here for when that supernatural gets uh, purified so that we can then move on to whatever it is that comes out of that that I can't remember. And yes, I did just go into the bee age without a bee -elizer. There we go, bee -elizer. Done. Cool. So over here... Um, this is the supernaturals in here. Um, 
Okay, why you no stack? Okay, I should probably analyze these. Right, and uh, normal, normal, slower, normal, average, average. Okay, normal, all normal, slower, yep. Okay, so in the interest of purifying these, I'm just going to chuck them in. Um, the other one does have better traits, but I just want to get them pure. And in here, so I'm just going to goify these two. Um, I could use them to breed with uh, the supernatural there, but I'd rather use pure stock that I'm producing from. So back through here, um, let me just check and make sure that these are going. That's empty, good. Uh, you're still there. Cool. Um, there should be an oblivion frame in here. Yeah, there is. Uh, nothing in here. Uh, nothing in here. Cool. So we'll go down here, um, take a quick look at the new bees that we've acquired. Um, ocean, nope, they were here last time. So in here we have our emeralds, they finally purified. Um, arcanes in here. These are the, the radioactives, they've purified as well, which is cool. Uh, a static for all my redstone purposes. And rubies have also finally purified. And in here will be the supernaturals, and this will be whatever comes after those. Cool. So that's all my bees. And oh, actually, uh, before we go back, I've uh, I've also got a, a little um, mini tree breeding section set out here. Um, just a couple of trees, really. Um, now that we have. Um, Benny's mods all updated and um, we've got extra trees um, Resident Rise has moved on to 0 0.92 since the last episode um, so there's been a few changes um, and extra trees is one of them ok so what are we going to do now um, and that's that extra panel that I talked about for the, the ID issue there um, replace my magic wax with uh, nether stars um, just because um, added a couple of extra centrifuges over here which are currently not doing anything um, and that really is like the end of the updates for this base I haven't done anything else I don't think um, but yeah what I'll do um, I'll show off the nexus a little bit this is our travel hub. Um, basically, Resonant Rise is being tested on two servers at this point in time. And this is the second of those test servers. Um, and the guys on test server one were very impressed with our um, shared travel hub. So I thought that I would um, show that off a little bit. Just so that they could see what we're doing. Okay, so... This is the main um, people's base portal room. Um, we've got a portal to the end here, and through there is the promised land added by uh, Biomes of Plenty. This goes to our spawn point. Uh, this is Matt Power's base, which was destroyed in an update, so he has a new base, um, Aperture Misa HQ, which we'll probably visit at some point. Uh, Monthol Pickle, the Smidge and Gold Seeker are inactive at this point in time, so we'll leave that one alone. Uh, Midnight and Hack, the other two server admins, that's their base through there. Um, over here, um, this is my base and uh, Kay Hoffman's base, um, the server owner, is through there. And this is uh, Brett's base. I've actually never been to Brett's base, so we'll probably explore that together. Um, up in the corner was the, the dim door nexus to a couple of the other guys' bases, um, but I don't really trust dim doors right now, so I'm staying away from it. Um, through here is the um, expansion area. Um, we've got the old mining age here, and the new mining age that was generated after we added sorcery um, etc etc. A um, couple of guys 
base books are here, so I should probably at some point come through here and expand the portal room to include those. Yeah. Um, this is a prank, so we're just going to ignore that. Um, let's go and show off spawn. This is um, server spawn. Um, what do is show from actually. Um, yeah, funny story. This area may look a little bit flat, um, and it may look like there were trees here, because there were. Um, I decided I needed to flatten a bit of room for the, the spawn building, and chopped in a couple of trees, and I ended up levelling the hill that was here with a lumber axe in one hit. So, probably want to be careful with lumber axes. Um, yep, this is our spawn point. Oh, and there's Steve. Hey, Steve. Let's uh, let's say hi to Steve. Oh, he's camera shy. Must have uh, scared him off. <laughs> um, Steve's been having internet difficulties uh, recently, so he's probably trying to get stuff done. Um, information panels, server rules, server staff, and the couple of test rats. Um, we have set up. Actually, need to amend that last one because we've got a public water test rack. And this is the the lovely spawn building that I spent a whole couple of hours doing. I'm I'm actually quite impressed with how it turned out. It looks kind of cool. Um, Portal is here to the nexus and the mining age. Um, may as well go show off the mining age while I'm here. Um, I used a couple of funky symbols when I was writing this, like rainbow. Because I've never seen it before. I was like, um, I'm just going to shove rainbow in here. See what it looks like. It, it does look kind of cool. And this is the, the spawn building. And that really pretty much is it for the mining age. Um, my mining platform is in here as well, but I don't remember where. Um, so, somebody's quarry? Oh, Steve's quarry. Hey, Steve. Let's um let's follow Steve and make him nervous. Yeah, following Steve. Oh, oh he's got a carrot. Hey Steve. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, so That's, um, yeah, pretty much it. Um, Nexus, Mining Age, Spawn, Capiche. Um, so what we'll do, we'll head back to, to Trunks Corp headquarters. Um, is there anything else I need to do this episode? Um, no, I don't think there is. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to call this episode here. Um, I made some progress with, uh, with universal electricity, this is really kind of the first time I've actually used it, so I've uh, I've learned a lot, and hopefully my my learning um, can benefit you guys. So we will call the episode here. Um, thank you all for watching, and hopefully I will see you again in episode three. Um, take care, have a good time, and we will see you next time.